Just do it! Welcome to the Now, I'm Ashley. I'm Mika. Did Bungie throttle experience in Destiny 2 to encourage players to buy more bright engrams, aka loot boxes? The big questions for a Monday after a long weekend. <laughs> but that's what fans are accusing the developer of after the community discovered that the game was secretly limiting experience points. And based on the current climate towards anything related to microtransactions, you can guess how that all went over. Yeah, Bungie has since fixed the problem, but after doing so, they well, fans discovered they'd also secretly doubled the amount of time it takes to level up in the game, leading to accusations of foul play and lying all over again and not really fixing the problem at all. Oh man, those bungees just cannot win, can they? Yeah. Uh, right now, the XP controversy is pretty much the biggest topic in the Destiny 2 community, with fans demanding answers and transparency from Bungie over the issue. Uh, there's been a lot of information going around about this over the weekend, some of it based on pure speculation, some of it based on math. So let's dig into <laughs> what actually happened and what's known. Over the last few weeks, there's been some anecdotal discussion in the Destiny community around XP, namely that it doesn't seem to be working the way it's supposed to be. This came to light when players took note that despite an in-game event that was meant to boost XP for clans known as Clarion Call, there didn't seem to really be much benefit at all. Right, so why run that? Anyway, <laughs> none of these co uh, complaints elicited much of a response from Bungie, so one player took it upon himself to put the numbers to the test, documenting the amount of XP he was supposed to be earning based on what the game told him and how much he was actually earning. What the player discovered is that the two numbers very rarely match, and worse, the more you play and earn in a short amount of time, the more XP you seem to lose as a result. In fact, the problem is so bad you can lose as much as 96% of your experience at a time. That's a lot. That's, 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 that's a, a lot. very high percentage. And most of that is hidden so you don't even know you're being screwed. Mmm, the player, well, I said, is that a good thing or bad? This is a uh, bad thing. <laughs> the player wrote, there is a hidden scaling factor that ramps up as you earn XP more quickly. The scaling factor will increase at least to the point where you're only really only earning 4% of what you should. He's even got like charts and graphs, so you, you know it's legit. He That's used, math. He used math and like, Math is evil. So all of this is sort of a problem. One, because the game's not giving you all the experience you're supposed to be earning throughout the day. But two, it keeps you from leveling as quickly as you ought to. And one of the rewards when you level up, hmm, what is that? It's a bright engram containing uh, some of the game's cosmetic items. Which, by the way, you can also just purchase with real money if all that leveling up's too much of a hassle. The player even included some data about how much money he would have lost if he'd bought the bright engrams he should have earned, about $3 over three hours of play, since he should have earned about 1.5 more bright encrums than he actually did, thanks to the lost XP. So, naturally players have run wild with this information because one interpretation of that is that this system of throttling XP, whether it's a bug or on purpose, probably not a bug, uh, could lead to players spending more money than they ought to since they aren't getting the free rewards that they have kind of technically earned. Uh, either it's happening by accident, that's the bug, or by design, neither of those look too great. So that's one problem with your XP being throttled. But the other problem is that Bungie indirectly sells items that help you boost your XP, like fire team medallions. Now those don't cost real money per se, but they do cost bright dust, which can only be obtained by dismantling items that come in bright engrams, which themselves can be purchased through, you guessed it, real money, so it's kind of confusing. And it's, a, it's, a, it's a whole process. Yeah. But it means that players who are buying these consumables aren't actually necessarily seeing the benefits they're paying for. I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't even talk about Pop-Tarts. Again, not a great thing to have been going on under the hood for the past couple of months. On top of all of that, Destiny 2 is also involved in promotions. All like, right, let's do talk about Pop-Tarts. Like the aforementioned Pop-Tarts, for instance, where you get XP boost codes when you buy those delicious, flaky, cinnamony breakfast pastries. I want a pop tart. You know, it's been a while since I've had a pop tart. Do Same. they still taste like cardboard? Yeah, but cardboard flavored with cinnamon. Ah. Yeah. yeah well, so, whatever the case, microtransactions plus unexplained cooldowns and XP don't really make for great bedfellows, particularly when there's been no official response to the problem. Following the loads of angry internet comments with torch and pitforks and the like, with many accusing the developer of cooling down experience points in an effort to make players buy more bright engrams, Bungie has finally released a statement. In a blog post over the holiday weekend, they wrote, we've seen community discussion around XP gain in Destiny. After reviewing our data, we agree that the system is not performing the way we'd like it to. Today, we'd like to describe what's going on under the hood and talk about what you can expect going forward when it comes to earning XP in Destiny 2. 
The post went on to say, currently XP will scale up when playing longer or fixed duration activities like Crucible competitive multiplayer matches and the Leviathan raid, and XP will scale down when playing activities that can be quickly repeatedly chained, like grinding public events. We are not happy with the results and we've heard the same from the community. Effective immediately, we are deactivating the system. Yeah, I mean, I mean, you seem just fine with the results until the community discovered what was going on. Yeah. But you know what, actually, honestly, kudos to responding quickly to the anger, especially over a holiday weekend here in the US. It's not easy to pull people away from their turkey comas, but you did it. Man, most of the time, this is where the story wraps and we all go home and all ends well and we're happy, right? Yeah, the issue was discovered, developers apologized, right. they deactivated it, it, happily ever after. No, but not not so much this time, mm -hmm. because once Bungie implemented the fix to the XP, players made another discovery about something else the developers just tweaked under the hood with the update. Yeah, the amount of XP required to level up has now doubled. Prior to the update the, to fix the XP throttling, it took 80,000 experience to level up. Now, it takes 160,000, meaning it takes about as long to earn a level and a bright engram as before. Mm -hmm. So basically, the system was always working as intended, at least in terms of how long they wanted it to take to level up. Bungie even confirmed this was the case in a follow-up tweet after players started asking what the hell was going on. Of course, that sent players down a totally new rage spiral with newly lit, you know, torches and some more pitchforks. More fresh pitchforks. Fresh pitchforks, freshly sharpened with loads of pressing questions like, why was the system there in the first place and not communicated? Did Bungie try to sneak in the new XP requirements in? Did Bungie intentionally design to hide that it was a fact? Was it a bug? Is there because of Bright Engrams? Microtransactions? So many questions. Ah! Uh, now, while some players might give Bungie the benefit of the doubt on this one, not exactly the first time they've been caught not being entirely forthcoming with players. No. Last year, after loads of player accusations that they'd secretly implemented skill-based matchmaking into Destiny, resulting in increased latency in a lot of matches, Bungie later admitted, yeah, they had done that. Uh, at the time, their explanation for why they didn't talk about it more openly was because they wanted raw data. Yeah, I remember that. It was, it was not pretty. And it's possible that there's something like that at play this time. How's as that raw well. data? How's that raw data? <laughs> yeah, how's that raw data, Bungie? There's definitely a scenario where Bungie designed Destiny 2's experience system to work in a way that a lot of the rest of the game works. Since it's come out, they've been fairly outspoken against it being a game that you should grind in for hours on end. <laughs> Just stop playing. That's what they want you <laughs> to do. Don't play our game, is what they're saying. So who knows? This could just be a part of that weird philosophy playing out. Well, the problem is that when you don't speak about those sorts of things and you keep it quiet, players will fill in the gaps for themselves. If if you don't tell your story, someone will write their own story. In this yeah. case, none of the answers look that great for the developer, especially given the current climate and distress going on in regards to microtransactions. Fortunately for players and for Bungie, it looks like some answers could be on the way soon. Destiny 2 director Luke Smith said on Twitter that the team will be responding directly to player feedback sometime this week. And hopefully they'll be giving some satisfaction explanations for their angry guardians. We also reached out to Bungie for a comment, but haven't heard anything back as of this time. Well, we'll see. I mean, Luke Smith was also the guy who's like, you're gonna want to throw your money at it. Fuck yeah. So, Ooh. right. TBD. But what do you guys think of the Destiny 2 experience snafu so far? Let us know in the comments. For future updates on secret experience points and, and probably math, even though math scares me. Remember to like this video, and if you're new around here, subscribe to the know. Math is the best. Math, math is just, there's so the many numbers. The world runs on math. I know, and that's what's terrifying. Math got us to the moon. Math. Math's gonna get us to Mars. Math is also going to make the robot overlords rise up and kill us all. Exactly. Oh. What well, the player discovered that, it, and worse, the more you play and earning in a short amount of time. Uh, and earn. Yeah.